RPOs can be nearly impossible to guard in Madden 22 because they have multiple running and passing threats on every play. While some of them are difficult to learn, once you master an RPO, you could have your opponent's head spinning as they desperately try to account for every option. RPOs are an amazing way to increase your offensive firepower, and that's why in this video, we're counting down the top 5 glitchy RPOs in Madden 22. These work on both next-gen and current-gen Madden, and make sure to watch to the end because number one is an RPO that is so glitchy, it's literally banned from pro tournaments. So with all of that said, let's jump into the list. At honorable mention, we are in the formation Gun Doubles Y off, and the play is RPO Zone Peak. The route we're focusing on is the flat route from the tight end, and at the snap, we want to read both the linebacker and the cornerback on the right side. As long as they don't commit to guarding the hard flat, you can consistently throw the flat route for reliable yards. To add an extra wrinkle, motion the tight end out before the snap, and that's going to get him to the outside even faster, so he can rack up even more yards after the catch. At number 5, we are in the formation Gun Trips Tight End Offset, and the play is RPO Trap Alert Bubble. Trap runs have a unique blocking scheme where a defensive tackle is left unblocked at the snap while the guard and tackle work to the second level and the opposite side guard pulls and picks up the unblocked defender. This makes it extremely difficult for your opponent to gap shoot and it can result in huge gains on the ground. And while your opponent is worried about the run up the middle, you've also got a threat to the outside from the receiver on the bubble screen. If he isn't manned up and there's no cornerback playing the hard flat, go ahead and throw the bubble screen for easy yards to the outside. And to get a little more complex with it, motion over one of the blocking receivers and that'll put him on a hitch route. That can you a second passing option that'll do an amazing job splitting zones and catching your opponent completely by surprise. At number four, we are in the formation gun tackle over trips and the play is RPO bubble Y pop. I don't recommend throwing the bubble screen on this play because you usually get poor blocking from the outside receiver, but if your opponent is playing off coverage, then you definitely want to look at the receiver on the other side who will curl on his option route for some quick and easy yards. My favorite route is the tight end coming straight off the line of scrimmage from the tackle position, which zones have a really tough time guarding. And for those of you who have been around the channel for a bit, this is the same route that I went to last year to win a game against a pro Madden player in a $1,000 tournament. Finally, if you have a skate virus on your quarterback, then you can immediately scramble to the side opposite of his throwing hand, and usually the defense will have a pretty tough time catching you. At number three, we're in the formation I form wing, and the play is stretch alert X looky. This is one of the best run plays in all of Madden because you get two tight ends and a fullback lead blocking on the stretch run, which means you'll almost always have a numbers advantage and can pick up some solid yards. And if your opponent overcommits to the run, just hit your receiver on the backside slant for an easy catch over the middle. At number two, we're in the formation gun deuce close, and the play is RPO read flat wheel. This tight end wheel route is one of the glitchiest routes in the game and it's nearly impossible for the AI defenders to guard. I usually throw a bullet pass to the tight end as soon as I see the flat is open, but even if the flat is covered at the snap, be patient, and most of the time, you can throw a lob pass to the outside to put the ball in a spot where no defender can get to it. And inside the five yard line, the defenders with the P and R icons above their heads almost always commit to the run, leaving the wide receiver on the post completely open. This is one of the glitchiest plays in Madden, and it was the reason that I made my first ebook ever on Gun Deuce Close back at the start of Madden 22. At number one, we're in the formation Gun Wing Slot Week, and the play is Power Alert Glance. This play is so glitchy that EA added a new rule for their pro tournaments to ban all QB scrambles on RP plays, and even after they tried to patch it, this is still the best RPO in the game. To truly make your opponents rage, make sure your quarterback has a skate artist and line up with the running back on the side of your quarterback's throwing hand. Immediately after the running back passes in front of you, just hold down sprint and take off with the quarterback. Even after the patch, defenders are usually late to react, and you can pick up some incredible gains down the sideline. And if you want to add even more firepower to your ground attack, then definitely check out this video on my top 5 shotgun run plays in Madden 22.